Hello, this is Reverend Angelia. Um, with part four of Works of Hearts, uh, Finding a Blessed Life class. Um, and last time we were talking about, you know, how um, God uh, helps those uh, because uh, who believe in him because we are his children. Um, and so now we're going to start talking um, about God and he listens to those who listen to him. It's that simple. If we were being graded on our performance as his children, where would we fall? Some people believe that this whole big life is just a test to see if we are worthy to come into his presence. Some people believe that we come from him and live lives to learn from experience that he already knows until we're ready to be a perfect being and stay in heaven with him. Some people believe that we are just glorified dust and will become dust again someday. I believe that we do come from him. I am unsure, but believe that we may need more than one human lifetime to learn what he has to teach us. I know where I want to fall if I'm being graded. I would definitely want to be an A student. I know people who say that they don't believe in God, but they are good people and help others and do volunteer and give to charity. I know people who say that they are just average men or women and are perfectly happy with that. I know people who are bitter and say that God has never done anything for them. So why shouldn't they do what they want to anyway? I've also met in my travels people who play for the other team, so to speak, who believe that God is a cruel parent who demands too much or too unrealistic behaviors from them. So they reject him and run after their own pleasure. Or even join cults, satanic or otherwise, and make another their God. If we are to be his children, then we should only try to give our best. Anything less, in my opinion, wouldn't be honoring God. And it would be showing that we were just going through the motions. I choose to try and be an A student. I love God. He has loved me and delivered me from many a bad situation where I could have been in danger or even died. I know that he is there for me. Anyone can know this. They just have to pray and be open to God's love. And it will start to show up in your life. Have you heard of Squire Rushnell's God Winks? These are little stories that people submit to him of incidents where they believe that God has personally sent them a message. Or delivered them of some worst fate. God's little messages are all around us. We just have to be open to seeing, hearing, and receiving them. God loves his children. We are constantly under attack by the negative people in this world and by the satanic kingdom who want to steal our joy and leave us as miserable and desperate as they are. A lot of people feel that life is a lemon. They'd like their money back. Friends let them down. They have no faith in anything. There are no guarantees in life, except that God loves us. Got to turn my page. Some people have told me 
what I can do with that sentiment. <laughs> they are intent on being miserable. Some people believe that they work so hard for so long with nothing to show for it. With no hope of a better life, they give up. No wonder so many people are so miserable. They have no hope or no support system or no one that they believe loves them. That is very sad. But we cannot always show them the light. But as his children, it is our commitment to try. So many people think that they are owed so much more than they get in this life and stay bitter until their last day. If they could only feel the peace, like standing in front of the ocean with no cares or worries, feeling a sea breeze on your skin and knowing that at this moment, this is all that matters. Being a child of God is like that. He is a loving, supportive parent who only asks that we do our best. God is happy with us as we are. I believe that if he felt that he could, he would come down here and play with us like a doting parent. He would teach us things that he knows. Maybe that's what will happen in heaven. So, to live a truly blessed life, we must first find God. We must pray, 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 and when in doubt, pray some more. We must believe that God will answer our prayers, even if it's not how we want them to be answered. We must not feel guilty or ashamed or silly to ask anything of God, no matter how big or small it is. We must believe that God has the power to make us more than what we could be alone. And that we can be as great as he wants us to be. That there are no limitations in life with him at our helm. We must learn to believe that we are capable of greatness. And to not feel so small. Shy or uneducated. To step up and be counted where it counts. We must act like his children and not chase the things of the world or our own desires to the detriment of ourselves and others. We must want to be our best for ourselves and for our loving, heavenly parent. We must be humble and realize that we don't know everything and that he does. We must be willing to pray and ask for God's blessing. Then we have to have faith that he will deliver. Turn my page. If you can do these things, then you too can find a blessed life. And that's all of this class. So, uh, I hope you found this class educational, inspirational, or just entertaining. Um, but, you know, to recap that, um, you need to find God and be with God, and you need to pray. Um, early Christians were unsure, you know, of God's power and what he could do for them, um, but God answers prayers. So, I mean, really, anything is anything that God can do for you. Um, he can make you great. Um, if you're not walking where you should be, he can 
keep you in a small place. So, really, having a strong prayer life is what gives you a blessed life. So if you'd like to find a more blessed life, you need to look for it. You need to search. You need to pray. You need to get closer to God. So um, I hope you enjoyed this class. Um, and uh, I will leave you know a link if you'd like to help support this ministry um, in the description. And uh, that's it for now. Until next time.